what, what, what I would do with with self care is is sort of discuss you know some things that an individual can do for themselves uh, you know first um, you have to have a supervisor you have to have somebody that you can talk to that you can trust um, you need to eat right you need to sleep right you need to exercise I, I, I know it's basic and you know it's no different than maybe any other profession but it's essential um, the, the, the other thing is y- you need to be in therapy um, anybody that's a therapist needs to be in therapy um, there are issues that you have, everybody does, that you probably haven't worked through. Uh, if, if you have, you should have maintenance done. Um, there's a concept known as countertransference, which basically means that a patient comes in and um, they start talking and you start having these feelings associated with other people and you're putting it on that person or other times and you're putting it on that person. So maybe they become an ex-boyfriend or girlfriend or husband or wife, or maybe you become attracted to them or, or there's some, uh, you know, trauma in your history, whatever it is, yet you, you have to work through it. Um, you, you have to at least be aware of it. Um, you know, and I, I like to ask, uh, the, the change agents that come through is that, is there a, uh, type of patient that is just a deal breaker? Is there a type of patient that you would not work with? And, um, and, and usually I get it, I'll get an answer. Um, you know, I'll, I'll get an answer. You, you got to work through that. Um, because you, you may end up treating somebody who was a deal breaker. Um, your circumstances might, might be different. Um, so, so those are the things that, um, that you that you can do to take care of yourself. Um, you know, I can say things like, you know, le- you know, le- leave it, at, you know, leave it at the office, you know, leave it at the desk, you know, just, you know, when you shut the lights off, you know, it's 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 all, you know, it's you're you're done. It's easier said than done, but I think there needs to be a decompression, um, uh, you know, sort of uh, period of time, where you truly practice letting go of whatever it is that you dealt with in that day uh that does not come automatically right it's just not like you just you're just going to take stuff with you but if you practice it then it becomes a habit and then you don't do it and you're able to differentiate the two and by the way you become a better professional that way by by doing that so <clears throat> so i think that that is um that is essential um i also think that uh, being transparent um, with the patient um, is important. Um, I, I, I think that if there's issues that come up, for example, uh, let's say the patient is chronically late and the therapist doesn't say anything uh, because they don't want to confront the patient, they don't lose the patient, the money's good, I, whatever it is. I think that kind of stuff needs to be navigated and, and it's part of self-care. Because what happens is, is that you start to build up resentments and you get passive aggressive and you get, you get uncomfortable and you might say things or focus on things that are really not um, called for in the, in the therapeutic environment that you're in. So that, that, that's what you need to do.